Hi everyone, Tyler Mannion here, NPC and IFPB Pro League Vice President, and this will be your New York Pro Recap for Classic Physique, and this is brought to you by New Tech. So, we had a big rematch from last week in Pittsburgh between Matt and Eric. That show was obviously very, very closely contested. Eric ended up edging it out. Now, here we had the rematch, and obviously the results flipped, and we'll go through pose by pose to let you know why. And I guess before even going to the poses, I do think that Matt came back more separated uh, overall, and especially from the front, than he was in Pittsburgh. I thought Eric brought about the same level of conditioning and separation that he had in Pittsburgh. So that was obviously an improvement for Matt and is what made this, again, a very, very close show between the two. So we get into the front double bicep, and I think this is a very strong pose for Matt. Matt this time did remember to flex his arms. Obviously, this gives his biceps much better shape and detail in this pose. He has a very nice taper into a very small waist, and his quads from the front are very big. They're very separated, and they have great sweep. So for Eric, obviously, Eric has a wider waist than Matt. That is why Eric pulls that big vacuum and also makes sure he's posing from an angle to minimize that, which is very smart. Eric's arms are solid, but they are not a spectacular part of his physique. And when it comes down to the lower body, his quads just aren't as big and aren't as deep as Matt's are. So overall, when you look at flow of the pose, but even looking at the body parts, you see that Matt really exhibits a lot of strengths here. Eric has a very solid front double bicep pose, but with Matt nailing it and also posing correctly, I think when you're looking at them, you see that this is a pose for Matt to make it one nothing. Next up is the side chest pose. Again, this side chest pose is a very close pose between the two. I feel like Matt displays more thickness through the arms and the shoulders here from the side. Eric displays a little bit more thickness through the chest. When you get down to the lower body, Matt's legs from the side are a little bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit. However, Eric has deeper separation from the side here in the side leg. Overall, when it comes to conditioning, Matt's conditioning was good. Eric's conditioning was obviously very good. And I feel like when you see the lines and the separation throughout Eric in this side chest pose and the thickness that he has through, uh, across the shoulders, through the chest compared to Matt, slightly gives him the edge in this pose. Basically, it comes down to that razor sharp conditioning that Eric brought, and this makes it one to one. Next up is the back double bicep pose. Again, I think this is a pretty clear pose for Eric, even from last week to this week. Matt did definitely make improvements on the way he's hitting this pose. His back looks much better, especially his upper back. His taper definitely looks better than it did last week. Um, he has more separation to his lower body and his hamstrings than he had the week prior. Eric's back has improved a lot over the last year. He has a lot more depth and detail back there. We see in his lower body that the conditioning is there. You see the, the leg width. You see the sweep from the back here. You see the etched in conditioning. Overall, head to toe, Eric just really, really pops in this pose. It's a pose that Matt has to continue on working to get better. This makes it two to one, Eric. Next up is the admin thigh pose. Matt made the rate right adjustments on hitting this pose this week. He first sucked up into the vacuum, then blew all the air out of his abs to come down to really display how small his waist is and the detail throughout his abs and midsection. He has a great taper going on here. Obviously, we get onto his lower body. Like I said, he has crazy quads from the front for the classic physique division. It's Those will be tough to go up against no matter who he's going up against. Eric, again, has a little bit wider of a waist. The taper is not as good. And one of his weaknesses are he doesn't have quite the ab detail and separation that he needs. So he tends to just try to stay in the vacuum the whole entire time, which right now is not a bad strategy on his part. But again, when you go into the lower body as well, I don't think his quads quite match up against Matt's. So overall, when you look at the flow of the pose, the taper and the strengths and weaknesses, Matt takes this pretty clearly to make it two to two. Now, last up here is your favorite classic pose. Again, just like the week prior, a very, very close pose. 
Eric plays to his strengths and Matt plays to his strengths. They both make very smart choices with their posing here. Eric does that half front lat spread, half half fr uh, front double bicep, you know, hybrid here with a good leg placement. He hits it with a vacuum to really exhibit more taper as well. And Matt hits the front lat spread, which he makes his chest look very thick in this pose with the way he hits it. He has a crazy taper down into a nice, small, and detailed waist. You can still see that definition to his abs in this pose. Again, the lower body is very, very strong with the quads. Overall, this week being more separated, this is a really hard pose to match. So while I think Eric looks great in his favorite classic pose, I just think Matt looks just a little bit better. And that's basically the difference in the show that gives Matt the edge three to two. These are two guys that are very, very close and level to each other. Probably they competed 10 weekends in a row. I would venture out to say it would be a coin flip and probably each would win five times. That's how close this is. So when you get competitors that are at a high level and are pretty close to each other, in this case, they're very close, but even if they're pretty close to each other in level results can flip very, very easily. So that's the quality that's in the IFBB Pro League. And again, that's what makes shows so exciting. In third place, we had Dimitro. I think Dimitro looked great. Uh, maybe a little bit more conditioned than he was last week. Again, for him, the main focus is his overall back. He needs more density and more thickness to his back, especially uh, the width as well. That width is really going to enhance his taper and enhance his overall look. And he still needs to fill out that upper chest, but I thought he did a very good job of being consistent in his first two pro shows. In fourth place, we had Bradley. Bradley was much lower at the Pittsburgh and his conditioning was nowhere near what he brought in this week. So in one week, he made a complete transformation in his physique. For him, I think he could use more depth and thickness to his back, and he could also use more size when it comes to his side leg. So those would be the two main points, I would say, for him that he needs to focus on and trying to bring this conditioning that he brought to every single show. So great job by him. He, in a tough lineup, jumped up all the way up in the fourth place. And I think that's a good sign for him going forward. So awesome classic physique show here.